switch the order here, is that the Fallout 4 beta patch over on Steam now includes the creation kit. Yep. So you have access to mods directly inside of Fallout 4. Uh, and, and access to the creation kit if you want to start creating mods. You now have uh, open beta access to that if you have Steam. So if you want to make some really crazy cool things that you couldn't make before for whatever reason, you totally can. I think we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of awesome stuff in the next week or so, probably. I imagine there's people, like, tonight who are going to be sitting there like, <laughs> like, it's out! I have to make stuff! <laughs> I would feel like that if that was my thing. Yeah. But I do want to mention, though, too, uh, it's it's pretty elusive on how to get the creation kit. Like, I was I was looking in the forums. Like, they, they have this separate article for it. They're like, oh, the creation kit's now available, but they don't say where to get it. <laughs> But you go to the Bethesda.net main page, and on the upper right, there's a little download icon button. You click on that, and it says, want to help us with the beta? And it says, download the Bethesda launcher. You get that, and then you can install the creation kit from that launcher. Pro tip from Kato. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they weren't mess. very clear on that. <laughs> people who actually wanted it, I guess, I don't know, maybe they thought most people were just looking to play the mods, but... Yeah, installing the mods is easy. <laughs> I was going to say, they, they told you about the easy part. They're like, this is how you play the beta patch and install the mods. I'm like, well, that's, that's the easy part. Like, It's pretty straightforward. But Can I make mention of the, of the, of the trailer, too, where they had they, they previewed a horse armor mod? <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. If you watch, if you watch the, uh, the mod creation kit trailer that they put out. I did not watch that. Um... They, they basically poked fun at the community and themselves uh, by previewing one of the mods that was that was actual, like, horse armor, but it was the Giddy Up Buttercup. Like, oh, my Horses yeah. all over a suit of power armor. <laughs> I think that's the first time they've ever actually poked fun at it, so that's pretty good, because it's usually just the community poking fun at it. I think it's great. So I'm glad they finally poked fun at it back. Awesome. I think that's a, that's a positive for them, for sure. Yeah. Um, <laughs> One of the other things you can do, actually, I would imagine that these things work hand in hand, is that there was also a Fallout 4 unofficial patch made by the same team that made the Fallout 3 unofficial patch. And basically, it nukes just about all of the bugs in Fallout 4 for you. Yep. Which is just about as fantastic as it can possibly be. So if you're playing on PC and you're having lots of random bugs issues or you've got some possibly game-breaking ones, chances are they fixed it. And we will have a link to the full... Uh, patch notes for the NFL.